Welcome, it's King Lizard on Xbox One with Forza Motorsport 6 PvP action. And this time, once again, it's Lamborghini Super Trofeo. And this is week three of the Super Trofeo that featured the Gallardo Race Spec Edition vehicle. So I got off at the front of the grid, really good start with two other cars in front of me. However, those two cars just took themselves out on that left verge there where the grass was. So now I'm off in front and trying to get me some distance on the rest of the field. And if you're a Forza regular like me, you'll recognize this track. This is, of course, Prague's full circuit. Now, I was fortunate enough to get out the grid in third or fourth place with those other three cars that were kind of at the front of the grid. And that was basically because I'd driven quite a clean and fast lap on the previous race, but I wasn't actually aware that that made any difference to your grid placing. Quite recently, I had a discussion with quite a few new Forza friends that I made, a number of which actually confirmed to me that your grid placing is dictated by your lap time. So basically, the better lap you get against the competition, the better position you're going to get in the next race. So it's definitely worth noting. As I said, it was reasonably new information to me, uh, hence why I'm sharing it on here, just in case some of you other avid racers like me aren't aware of that situation. For me, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference because I will literally race my guts out from them first or I'm in last. I always race to the end of the race or at least to the closest I can get to it, depending on how far behind I am sometimes. But typically, if I'm behind, it's because I've been taken out, not because I'm driving poor. So we're coming up to the end of lap one here, and my friend in black behind me is actually catching me up a little bit. I've still got quite a big distance on him, but he has made a little bit of ground on me, and the pressure's on at this point because I've noticed him. So I'm really forcing the car around this circuit as quick as I can go in the interest of maintaining that gap and the interest of course securing the first place. Now this particular section of the track, really fast section of the track, I see some people hesitate here. You can pretty much flat this section out. The place you have to be careful is on this upward corner. You know, it kind of revolves around the track and comes to a complete left turn at the top. You do have to back off some of you speed along there or you will go wide and hit the right side wall but in general you can get some serious speed along this you know particular section including this section here you can fly through this section it's when you get near the bottom of the section you really got to brake hard and prepare yourself for a very tight left hander followed by an extremely tight right hander and then it's through that kind of um, archway section which will you know take you on to the next reasonably tight left-hander but it's it's kind of okay because you've got the chevron area you can move across to or kind of drift across to if you're really pushing the car in this case i managed to maintain my line reasonably well and force this car across the bridge at top speed and you can see there that chap in black is catching me up a bit this particular section is a section i love it's actually very technical very nasty bit of track this but I see a lot of people getting this wrong. I generally do this pretty well, although I did screw it up first lap. Now this guy's just caught me up from nowhere. Look at that. So he tries to come across me. I'm still going around the corner with the trajectory that I originally started from. And because he flew into that corner, he had to break quite hard, which means I've gained a little bit more distance on him for the moment. So I'm pushing this thing as hard as I can go and he's catching me up still. So it's going to be a pretty tight race. Now, Prague is actually one of my favorite tracks and therefore it is a track that I know very well and I can race pretty hard on. Uh, this guy really pushes me to my limits here. And it's real tight stuff here as we're going up the hill. He's trying to undertake me there. I've seen him trying to make his move and I've hence had to accelerate even harder putting myself at risk of hitting that right side wall you now he kind of clipped the back end of me there that was kind of a bit of both of us really I was moving across probably a little bit too early unintentionally and I may have just clipped his front there and I think he was coming across on me at the same time so it was kind of a bit of miscommunication from us and obviously it's something that's going to happen in a race like this where things are really tight and the pressure's on 
but uh, I think I was pretty nervous at this point in the race because I'd raced so hard and this guy to be honest was doing a much better job of getting around the track than me he was actually driving a blind race to come from where he did to get to where I am at the front of the race so I'll take this opportunity to thank you guys and gals for watching I will be back with plenty more Forza Motorsport 6 action and other great games on King Lizard's Game Lounge please be kind enough to rate the video and if you're not a subscriber don't be shy click that sub button take care keep well keep watching and enjoy the rest of the race it's a real tight one